Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, it took me a couple of hours and uh, I think I was uh, practicing a little, a little profanity there working on this garage door cable issue. Turns out the cables have to be like exactly the same length. And obviously the broken one was shorter than the other one. So I managed to get the broken one hooked up which meant there was too much slack on the other side, which means it popped off the pulleys, of course, and caused me a bunch of trouble. So I had to re-tread that thing all up and cut the cable to the right length and so forth. So anyway, as of right now, my garage door appears to be working. And unless I'm a moron, and I probably am, I would uh, buy some new cables and get things fixed up. So anyway, it's functioning again. Aren't we happy? That's first of all. Uh, second of all, let's go through this in a moment. Oh God. Uh, sucks getting old. Anyway, to get up there, I had to remove some of these baskets of things. And it's very interesting. It looks like I found uh, what's left. I'm gonna use the word what's left of the um, differential. For the um, for the 250SX in here, this looks like a uh, front to a 200S, but here's a, um, a wheel um, hub for 250SX. The other wheel hub for the 250SX um, brakes. These are the um, differential gears. Um, here's the rear end. Here's the rear end case. So, um, theoretically, yeah, this is an assortment of 200S and 200, um, S 250SX parts. And actually, this is, this is for a, um, 110. So, anyway, it's always interesting to kind of grind through and find out what I got. There's some more 250SX parts and um, spacers and uh, air filter there. So anyway, I gotta get, get those restacked. So I figured I'd mention that whilst I was fooling around. Okay, flea market deals. Um, so today's the 14th and what did I buy at the flea market? There was a $2 deal guy and for two bucks, I bought this uh, Christmas Christmas thing here. Um, five light bulbs. Uh, I thought it was interesting because it was made in the United States. I always like when the receipts kind of come with them. Stars from Torrington. It was uh, $2.99. December 16th. I'm not sure what the date. Oops. I'm not sure what the date is there, but I always think that's That's interesting and it came with these light bulbs Light bulbs were made in um, Japan So once again, I'm not sure the year of this thing But for two dollars with the light bulbs. I thought it was interesting. I think it said it was made in the United States here somewhere um yeah, the box is kind of beat up on, so I want to be careful not to screw it up further. Here it is. Indoor use. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not saying exactly where it's made. I thought I read that it was made in the United States. Maybe I'm wrong. It says the lamps are imported, but it's not saying where. Uh, guaranteed, factory, pre-tested. So anyway, housewares, oh, there it is. Right there. So, made in the U.S., printed in the U.S., $1.99, and it's from Stars in Tarrington. So I paid $2 for that, and what went with this? This was... I got that, and I think I got this broken stopwatch. I think they were a match set. 
The stopwatch was interesting. It, uh, you know, when you hit the go, it doesn't go. But I was looking beneath it for instructions. And this, uh, this I always find interesting, like history detective here. Drug arrests, five 16-year-old boys were arrested Wednesday morning and charged with criminal possession of a controlled substance. Anyway, the swastika here, um, that's the, who wrote the article. What was I thought was interesting was on the bottom, they went through the trouble of um, putting a name and uh, there's kind of a, I don't know if you guys could see it, a uh, skull and crossbones there. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. If I'm bored and I have this near me one day when I'm playing with the internet, I'll look up the article again and see what's going on. So that was my $4 purchase from uh, one guy. Oh, actually, hang on. This was separate. This was the $4 purchase. Um, this is a nice precision voltmeter. It says it's for hearing aid batteries. And it, he was trying to, um, to get 18 bucks for it. And uh, anyway, I gave him two bucks for the voltmeter, two bucks for the um, for the lights. Now, where I got kind of ripped off, these are um, all but the six point our metric inch sockets made in the US. They're helpful occasionally. It's a master mechanic ratchet. So I got those, the broken stopwatch, the knife. The knife's from Japan. Very sharp. I shouldn't be handling it like that. Um, Snap-on, or not snap-on, um, vice grip mini. See, they're small ones, vice grip minis. Occasionally they're good for um, wrenches. Um, what do they call these? Uh, uh, clamps. Um, some people call them roach clips. Uh, these occasionally come in handy. Screwdriver right angle screwdriver Napa this is um, Leatherman Micra so like that kind reamer I'm showing it to you reamer hand reamer general USA so it's probably older and Utica Tools, USA. I like that kind. So anyway, so this pile here, that was a um, $20 bill. This was from a dollar guy. I don't know if it's me. Oh, USA. Look at that. And uh, these nice wire wrap pliers. So these were a buck each, no a dollar each. So, what am I up to? I got four, 24, 25, 26. We'll do this in a moment. Oh God, Ugh. I got the stiffness back. Uh, this guy, so you can see it in all its glory. It weighs, um, a little less than a battleship. It uh, the old-fashioned kind where uh, the butt locks. Look at this cord on this thing. I mean, you can jump start a 747 with this thing. Um, this was back before uh, ground. Scary, huh? And. It came with all these grinding discs. If I get the pull, you won't talk about that in a moment. It came with all these grinding discs. I don't know if any 
you know, base date abrasives, big pad. No, that's probably not with it. Base date abrasives. Seems to be a thing here. Anyway, came with uh, all these discs, more base date abrasives, carborundum. So, uh, anyway, I basically bought it for the discs. Nice that the grinder works. So, what am I up to? This was another $10. I was up to 26 and 10 is 36 This I bought for a friend. He'll give me the money back. He needs a pulley. What he's trying to do is he's trying to gear down. He's got a wood... Um, uh, a band so I used for wood and he wants to use it for metal so he wants to gear it down he was after a pulley to do that so that was five and last but not least I'm under the giving you guys all kinds of advice here this is a um, Brighton necklace my wife likes Brighton why did I buy it well it was 15 bucks but most of all one of two things is true either my wife didn't notice that the Ranger is full of all-terrain vehicles um, out here. Not likely. She probably knows, which means she's sitting on that information until she's going to torture me with it. So, if I get her the necklace, which I got, so it's a $15 investment, if I give her that necklace, chances are I'm going to skate on this truck full of all-terrain vehicles. Um, and if she hasn't noticed it, that puts me one up on her. So when she does figure it out, once again, it brings us back to even. So advice, guys. Take care of the wife, and the wife won't torture you too bad. So, anyway, I got to unload this, because you can see I took the wheel off the back of the uh, F-150, and I got to take that to the tire place and get it fixed tomorrow. My PT Cruisers moved out of the way. I think, I'm not sure how I'm going to get those quads out or trikes out. I'm not sure if I'm going to unload them by hand or uh, get the backhoe loader. I think I'm going to unload them by hand. All right, folks, live, love, and have a great time. This is getting to be a long video. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. In the meantime, remember, try to keep the wife happy. Because if you keep her happy... Maybe she won't torment you too much. She'll leave your lug nuts alone. All right. Take care now.